that is pretty close. I might have to do a tiny bit more grinding there to get that perfect, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Okay, what is next on this crazy sawing machine? I need to make a, another frame that this whole thing goes on so this thing can slide like back and forth along another frame. And then that other frame has to go up and down on a totally other thing. But, all right, let's make the frame that this attaches to. In other words, let's make the red part. So that's the yellow part over there. Okay. All right, this whole thing. Oops. These attached to this frame. I have one of these and another one over there. And this whole thing needs to be able to slide back and forth. So I need to make this frame be just the right size to fit on either side of this. Kind of snug. I don't, want, I don't want this middle piece wobbling at all. I want it to be in there pretty good. Even better if it takes me a bit of effort to you know, move it around. I don't want it to move around on its own. Yeah, just like that. Exactly. And then this whole middle thing, maybe have some little pieces that stick out over this part so it rests on top of there and it can slide this way and that way. All right. How do I get these things to stay in this orientation without being clamped to that? I'm thinking maybe I have more of this stuff. I can bolt one on here. I have to check the back, what I can do back there without getting in the way of the motor and stuff. Because since the motor sticks out so far that way, if it, if it hits something over there, I'm gonna lose a lot of space where I can cut. Although now that I'm looking at this, this thing is big enough. I'm not gonna have trees so big that I need to move this thing past the end of there. So yeah, I can just put a piece there and it'll be fine. You know, worst case scenario, if I have some giant log that takes up so much space that I have to start cutting all the way at the end and go past where this is sticking out and I have a piece up here. The only thing is I won't be able to tilt the motor up when it's all the way over there. Like I can, I can move it really far that way and the motor can go right under a piece that's up here. It's just I won't be able to tilt it. So I would have to pull the motor back, tilt it up, and then I could push it back to where, because if it's tilted up, it can also go away over there. So yeah, I think it's, I think I could just put a piece up there and a piece up here. Maybe a piece down there too, I don't know. <sighs> okay, where do I need my strength on this thing? I need, I need something at each end to keep this from pushing out or in. So anything across the top and even on the bottom would be great for that. That's, that's going to be really easy. I also need these to not like tip over. And actually, the, this other piece, the yellow piece, whatever, the slider, it already has something, uh, a couple reinforcements to keep it from tilting. So that will keep these from tilting. Um, so I should still do something on this as well. I can work with those and they can all work together to keep themselves lined up. So, yeah, and this would do that. It was bolted down nice and good. That's going to tip over the whole thing. I'm going to put one of these at the other end. And then one of these at this end. Maybe I can get two pieces out of the same one. That would be amazing. But I, think, I think that's slightly more than half. Whatever. Okay. So we get one of those at each end, and then I don't think I need one of these along the bottom there. I don't think it needs to be that strong, just something thinner, like that along the bottom would be fine. And then I have to think about how this is going to attach to the, the big main frame part. I should probably think about that a little bit now before I build this. How is it going to attach? So the big frame part is going to have 
mast pieces, which are, which are like oval. They've got a flat here, a flat here, and then around there, and around there. They'll probably be in that orientation. They could go that way. No. You gotta think about it. Well, that is looking excellent. Man, this thing is going to be amazing. Presuming I don't screw it up. All right, I have one good strong piece here, one at the other end there. I think I still want to put something on the bottom here. Although I'm out of drill battery and it's really cloudy out, so I'm not getting any solar power right now. I'm not going to run my house down to charge my tools. Um, and you know, having these clamps here makes me think that when I first test the saw, I'm probably just going to put a clamp there to lock it in place. Like I'll just keep one clamp here. I still need to put you know, pieces bolted in, into this, hanging over here. And once, once I have four of those, like it'll pretty much stay in place. Like even without a clamp, I don't think it's going to move much. So I'll just put one clamp in place to lock it from sliding and I should be able to saw with it. Well, other than that, this, this part is, is almost done. Like another reinforcement down there. I don't want to put another one on the bottom at the other end because it'll get in the way of the motor. But uh, I don't even know if it needs the one here, but I'll, I'll do it just, just in case, you know. And I guess the tricky thing next is just to figure figure out how this attaches to the um, the mast pieces, the big frame. Oh, you know what else I just realized? I can work on this and the big frame without that attached to it. Oh, that's so nice because that weighs like 100 pounds and this weighs like, I don't know, 20 or something. So I can just take this, build it with the, the big frame part, and then when that's all together, I can put that on here. Oh, that's great. But since I'm out of drill batteries, I'm going to make some sandwiches, which means first I need to make the bread. Egg sandwiches, I have a whole bunch of eggs. Ooh, egg sandwiches. Mm. My friend came over yesterday and we were talking about going to town soon. And he started talking about all the food he wants to eat while in town. <laughs> oh, pizza and Chinese food and oh, deliciousness. And yeah, man. Mm. Oh, now I'm hungry. This whole piece here needs to slide back and forth on this. Not fast or anything, I actually want it to have friction so it's a little bit hard to move so it stays in place easily. And I was thinking about what I could put here, like bolt something to here that would overhang here, that could rub on here but not wear through. I don't know. So I started thinking I could make some, like put a piece of something here, bolt a ball bearing in there and then put like four of those. And then it would be easy to roll back and forth without wearing down this. Okay, the, the problem with putting a bearing here, or one of the problems, is that if this gets sawdust on it, the bearings are gonna roll up onto the sawdust. Uh, you know, kind of screwing this up. So I'm gonna have to constantly be brushing this off and paying attention. But if I have like a, a plastic block here, it's going to push the sawdust out of the way as it moves back and forth. All right, I'm going with the bearing. I even put two. These are uh, skateboard or rollerblade bearings. I put them on my Amazon wish list and someone sent them to me, which is amazing. And here they are. Oh, two looks great. Maybe I should use two. I have I have a hundred of them. It comes in a pack of a hundred, so. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. Okay, if I put that in there, it should be lined up right, right? Come on. Oh, yeah. 
This should be good. Well, that is beautiful. And they're both touching, that's good. Although now I feel like I should put a bigger screw up here. Uh, right. There we go. Okay, I need that to go there. Somehow I need to get this screw all the way in there. Bolt. Oh, can you get it? Yeah. Yeah, the cut side of the washer against this wall. <laughs> I knew you could get it. Oh wait, go put your hand back in and hold it up so we can put this on. Good job. Are you holding it? Mm -hmm. right. Let's get the washers on. Nice work. So you just gotta relax and do the thing. Not get so worked up. Okay, bolt. Uh, yeah, put it on the bearing, then lock washer. And then hole. Oh, no, I got it. Alright, now we need. Okay, oh, move your finger. Is that the wrong size? No, that's the right one. You tighten it. Yep, that one. So it took about 20 minutes to get that first bolt in there, but the second one it went in in like a second and a half. I call that leveling up. All right, should we test the slidiness? Mm -hmm. What do we need to do to do that? We need to, we need to support the big frame so that the smaller one isn't pushing on anything. Oh, I better go, I got a kid. What? All right, it's a little wobbly, but good enough. Oh, nice, look at that. A bit of friction so it stays wherever you put it, which is what I want, but pretty easy to move still. Yeah. And then, uh, I mean, first test, I can just put a clamp on here, lock it in place. I mean, even without a clamp, pretty much stays where you put it. Beauty. All right, I guess I can take this off and then. Finish this thing and get take it connected. Take this big, huge, heavy part off. Because I don't need this attached here to work on this part. And this part weighs hardly anything. And then I can work on this, make the frame that it goes on. Yeah. Although, something's a little bit crooked. Like, these two wheels are not touching. These ones are barely touching. And these, most of the weight's on these two. So this is a little bit, like, twisted. Either this is twisted, or this big frame is twisted. It could have to do with the fact that I'm supporting it on the ends here not very well. Okay, yeah, the twist is such a tiny amount. It's just, you know, I adjusted these poles down here slightly and it, it fixed it. So um, I think it's all well within tolerances. Oh, I still do at this end want to put a piece across the bottom here. Similar to this, maybe something a little smaller though. So it doesn't end up hitting the ground if I'm cutting really low. Or not the ground, but the stuff at the bottom. All right, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that part is finished. Well, other than the connection onto the next part, but I think I need to build the next part first. All right, I've got my cutter part. It swivels on the yellow part. The yellow part's made. I got that sliding back and forth on the red part. Now I just need to make this blue thingy the biggest piece, of course. Although not nearly as complicated as that middle piece. <laughs> 